Good morning, welcome back to Casa Tex Pina. It's been a while. Um, construction's all done. Um, we've just kind of been settling in. We took a little short break, went to the States, got uh, got vaccinated and came back. Um, so um, we got back and we're right in the middle of monsoon season. So typhoons aren't quite down to our area just yet, but we are getting a lot of the rains coming from the, the west side coming east. Um, so coming from the west side of the Philippines coming across and it's been raining probably every day for the last three weeks uh, So today we had a little bit of clearing um, and I got the uh, drone up today and uh, so Did a little bit of a gutter inspection go look see how they're holding up uh, See if there's anything collecting inside the gutters since we didn't did not end up putting the uh, screens over the top uh, so we just decided to leave them open um and we got nice large gutters so uh let's take a look and see how that uh turned out uh so let's get started so we can see we got a little bit of dirt and sedimentation just uh whatever washed off of the roof and the corners uh, see where we see those the rest of the way around. So a little more here just in the corner area. So far this looks pretty good, it looks like just in the, the corner areas I need to hit it with a, a water hose and a, um, a step ladder to get up that high. I'm um, taking a quick look at the solar water, hot water heater. Now um, prior to the monsoons coming through, we did act, not actually use the electric filament that's in it uh, as a backup um, at all. So when the monsoons started coming through and we had more than two consecutive days of no sun, then we had to turn the uh, the electric filament back on, but the water's been fantastic with that solar wa hot water heater. Okay, this corner here is where I've got a very small leak that goes through, um, but it is on the outside of the wall, so it only comes out right there on the, uh, the back patio area in that corner. So we're going to have the uh, contractor come back and take another look at it. Uh, might just need a little bit more silicone or something to get some of the rivet holes taken care of. Mm -hmm. 
Overall, very impressed with the uh, how the gutter is actually holding up. Um, looks good, looks clean um, for the most part. You know, got a little bit of sedimentation, but that's just most of the uh, stuff washing off of the roof down into the, uh, the gutter where it's supposed to go. Um, take a look at this one that's up here over the dormer window. Um, it is actually kind of hard to see into the gutter, um, but this one doesn't have any downspouts. What it does is it comes down the the roof into the gutter and then flows to the back uh, right here where you see it um, that section and then goes down the rest of the gutter um, down the rest of the roof to the gutter below so that's probably why you see a lot of sedimentation right here at the bottom also Another visual inspection real quick of what the uh, solar hot water heater looks like. That little tab at the top of the roof there is so that the uh, manufacturer can come back out and have a place to hook on a safety loop. Um, but all in all, looks great, works fantastic. Let's take a quick fly around the house, see uh, how the yard is looking, and just an overall view of the uh, area here. All right, so the uh, gutter inspection looked pretty good as we flew around, looked at all the, uh, where the down holes are for the downspouts. We do have a little bit of uh, dirt that we'll need to clean out of there. And that's mostly just sedimentation and stuff from, you know, whatever's falling out of the sky onto the roof when it rains, that's, you know, just where it collects. Um, so nothing major. Um, everything's draining well on it. Uh, we do only have one small leak that we found um, during the last uh, heavy downpour, uh, but it's um, on the outside of the walls. Uh, so no major deal there. We'll just have the, uh, get a hold of the contractor, the, uh, the engineer, and have them come back out and do a small repair. It's probably just gonna be a little bit of silicone, uh, put some more sealant inside the gutter uh, so that it doesn't go through that area. But everything else looked uh, very well. Um, so if the weather stays like this, just knock on some wood if the weather stays like this i might be able to get some yard work in um it's been about mm, two three weeks since i've mowed uh so we'll get around to doing that here soon uh but other than that uh thank you guys for checking back in uh, i know it has been quite a while since we've done any video updates 
Yeah, so we were just taking a short break from doing any vlogging since uh, most of, like I said, all the uh, construction had been completed. Um, so really wasn't much updating there. Uh, still trying to find a, a venue as far or a format for what our next thing is going to be. Um, I do still owe you guys a lessons learned video. Um, that's going to take some prep time. I'm going to need to sit down and write out everything that we learned along the way. Uh, some tips and points for you guys that may be uh, coming here to do construction in the Philippines uh, for, for a house here. Uh, just some tips and points along the way. Um, so until I get that completed and uh, we're back on the air. So until next time, um, if y'all enjoyed today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Tex Pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again next time, have a great afternoon and God bless.